There we go. That's a little better. Jeez. All right. This is the result. of the 16 inch cymbal crash test your ears. Okay, so there are four cymbals. There are three Pisces and a Zildjian. The Zildjian was an I, Zildjian I series crash. That's what it says right on it, crash 16 inches. The, the other three that were Pisces, one is a 502 plus, 16 inch Pisces crash, says crash. The other is a color sound five that I took the red color off, which says cr said crash on it. And then the last one is the uh, Pice, the PST7 16-inch thin crash. Okay, that was the lightest. So here I am. Remember, I did the video yesterday. This um, this is just arse around like this with your foot every so often for your foot. Anyway, but the results, the results are in. The re. Hang on, because I love it. Okay, these are the 18-inch. That's another story coming down the pipeline. All right, so the 16. Uh, All right, so the first two, hang on, the first symbol that was on my left in the first batch is the Peisty Color Sound 5 that I took, the, uh, there you go, the inking, that red ink off. Great symbol. Here it is, I'm gonna put it up. And then the second symbol was indeed the color, the, the 502 plus, again, with, with the proprietary treatment, it's not lathing proper. It's a very, it has very much rude properties, with, with, but more of the old giant beat decay shimmer. All right, so we'll do the first one, which is the, which was of course the color sound five, here we go. And then we go to the 502 Plus. So you'll notice that there is hum and overtone with B8, of course, especially as the uh, bell gets bigger. Right? I mean, that's the whole theory with the mini cup ride that Peisty N. Uh, well, the flat ride, Feisty did and Zildjian copied, and then Zildjian did the mini cup ride, but somebody probably was looking at 2002 was like, you know, let's make the bell about maybe 60% the size of this. You know what I mean? Maybe not make it as flat on the top, and, and there it is, right? You get, the, you get less overtones. But anyway, so here are your Color Sound 5 Crash 1985 without the red ink. 502 plus 16 inch crash. Without the bass drum. And the bells. Yeah, all right, so that's it. So, there it is. Keep your eyes peeled for those 502 plus. Remember it says plus there. And the top doesn't, it, it, it looks more like right, almost like camouflage design. But like, hey, let's put, without the different colors, let's just put that sort of mojo, just stamp it in or laser it, or I don't know what the hell they do. But there it is. All right, so you're out. And then, of course, the color sound. All right, here we go. So, and then on the left, in this batch of two, was the PST7 16-inch thin crash. I don't have the crash model. If I did, I would have used it. And then the fourth symbol, or the second in the second batch, was the Zildjian I 16-inch crash model. Okay, so here we go. Starting on the left and going to the right, as I always do. Well, typically. Here's the PST7. The Zildjian I. Now that's a lot of sustain, both ring and shh, right? Giant beady, you sort of shh, right? And let's go back to the uh, PST7 Thin Crash 16. And then the Zildjian I.
There it's going, it's going, it's going. It's, anyway, so, um, and now without the bass drum. Okay, so it was color sound five first, 502 plus second, PST7 third, and the Zildjian 9. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, let me just take off the PST7 for a sec. What I'm gonna do is a quick comparison of the uh, 502 plus with the Zildjian i16 because they're very similar similar sonically. I noticed the 16 inch Z uh, i series crash is thicker relative to itself pretty significantly than the 18 inch. You know what I mean? Like if you made it an 18, it would be a beefier. Anyway, so here we go. We'll start with the uh, on the left the 502 plus 16 crash model. Now the Zildjian I 16 inch crash model. One more time, left, this is the Peisty. Uh, 502 plus. Well, you could really hear that, ooh, I don't know if you could hear that, but it was like, oh, this note and that symbol. I nod to the Zildjian. So, the, the, sonically, the way I can characterize these is, is this is a very more giant beady sounding rude, right? This Peisty 502 Plus. Be interesting if they, I, I, I talked to the main man at, at Peisty and we both agreed that this was, a, I thought, a very ingenious idea. They should bring it back. Try, I don't know how it sounds on B8 though, but anyway. So the I-Series, the 16 inch crash, this is a great symbol. Peisty, I love you, but I'm gonna tell you something. These Zildjian eyes with, with B8. I don't know if this was the grand plan all along by Zildjian or whatever, but I don't know, maybe it just dawned on them, maybe to make them thinner. Like they physically look, they're, they're different than the ZBTs in the lading department. Okay, but uh, the hammering, a lot of the ZBTs had the same size hammering. Here it's sort of mixed up between a, maybe at least two ball peen sizes, maybe three or four. Great sounding symbol, very giant beady, sustainy. But what I'm going to do now is let me put up the color sound 5 on the left and the PST7 on my right. Okay, so put that up. Color sound 5 on my left, remember, which is a color sound, which is essentially a giant beat shaped symbol with pretty much 2002, well, exactly 2002 lighting from the shoulder to the edge. Here it is. Right now, 16 inch color sound 5 crash with the red coloring taken off. PST7, 16 inch thin crash. And then the bells. That's the uh, color sound five, and here's the PST seven thin crash. So the you know so B eight alloy right now this is a thin crash model I would assume or presume because this was how many this was eight twenty one I think or something I'm sure the crash model PST seven is probably at least a thousand on the nose. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another video. This is a different symbol. But again, let's leave with remember uh, this. I was trying to play this in the video yesterday, uh, and I said Cara Salambra when I met all my love. So I'm just going to arse around for a second, just relax and just do it, never mind the speed just for a second. You know I tightened this up yesterday, sorry, a little sorry I did. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, there's a time where I can go, I can do that for about a minute sometimes. Oh, 30 seconds. We go slower. Yeah. There might be some tempos I can just... I can go 
go a little faster and sort of half ass it. I can't keep that up for any period of time. Well, what is? Uh, <laughs> Once more be twilled. Mm. Oh, oh, I'm not making fun of the subject matter here at all. Remember, it's about Robert playing his son the past way. I'm just saying that if I had the opportunity to be playing the drums that day, it would have gone like this. Oh, that would have gone, but it would have been cool to bottom here play this stuff. I mean. Oh, up and listen to the end and you hear plant go hey 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 and then you go hey hey hey, hey and then it'd be out but then a version showed up and they play it to the end till the it's all of my love, all of my Simple reviews coming, more videos, more original stuff. I'm gonna do some covers. I just wanna make sure my ears can handle it. I'd love to do covers of the Gazingalator. I just wanna make sure I don't blow my ears out. More videos coming, please subscribe if you haven't. See my over 1,000 other videos as Bonzo Olium here on YouTube. Don't forget about my main man, George Flutus, at Bon Homology here on YouTube. He's an, he's an expert, he's a guru. Plus he's a world renowned, happens to be a jazz drummer that's noted far and wide. But who'd know that he could just frickin' be possessed by Bonham himself? And I mean like the 1968, 69, 70 version. And if he needs to, he can more... He, not only does he play like the periods, but he tunes the drums that way. Right? So, uh, that's it. More videos on the way. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. Forward this on. Let's start a meme. Oh my god, I have a good dessert idea. Hmm. Yes, let me do it now. Stay there. Don't go. Don't go. Now check this out. This is now I've been doing this for well, I know at least 25 years because I know I did this back when we were down at CRC spending oodles of cash recording studio one and today an SSL and a neat, anyway. These are Hostess cupcakes as you can see. I assume they have them in all parts of the. Well, I'm sure they're. Get your hands on some of these. Don't, I've tried them with the little dabbies and I think with another type, I forget what it was, but it's the Hostess, okay, cupcakes. Right? And you put them in the freezer and what happens is it slows the whole molecular schmeal down. They don't get frozen. They don't get frozen, but they get dense and cold and scrum dilly. So smile your way to your local hostess cupcake shop. Put them in the freezer. They don't freeze. They're delicious. You have one of them? Mm. One of these will quell your appetite. Because it's like having ice cream and cake at the same time in a real simple way. Yeah, 170 calories for one cake. 170? It's like a soda and a fifth. Oh, mmm. Put this flour in there, the eggs, and remember that. All right. So please subscribe. More videos on the way. Oh yeah. Jo uh, George Flutus, Bonomology. Also PFOZ, People's Front of Zeppelin. Vintage drummer here on YouTube. Uh, Derek Smith at the frickin'. The, you know what I'm saying? Just look us all up. Check out the videos. I hope you love it. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye. Wait. 
This is atomic hand comb. I don't know if people caught that. Now I have my speed kick. In fact, where did I put it? It's right here. Yes. I have been using this. But I got lazy and I didn't get the, the screwdriver to mess with these yet. But I've been using this. I just put this back on what maybe about three weeks ago. I, there was a reason why. I was gonna work on some pattern or something. Great, I love the reissues, they're terrific. Um, but that's it. Tom and Cam call if you it's if this is what they look like. See that you've seen this. Tama and DW bought Camco, and Tama took some stuff. Camco took some, or I mean, DW took some stuff. And uh, yeah, you know, the rest is history. So check all those out. That's it. More videos coming shortly. See you soon. Thank you.